During the season 4 finale, Homelander had tasked the remaining members of the Seven to eliminate any Vought employees who had any potentially incriminating information against them. However, Vought CEO Ashley Barrett overheard those orders and sought to protect herself by injecting herself with Compound V Serum. While Ashley's reaction to the compound appeared extraordinarily painful, it is not clear what superpowers she may potentially receive. So, to understand what kind of powers Ashley might get, let's take a look at her life in the boys' universe. So, Ashley claimed that when she was only 17 years old, her mother died of cancer. At first, Ashley was Madeline Stilwell's assistant. After Homelander murdered Madeline Stilwell, he recommended Ashley to fill her spot. Ashley is thrilled to have the opportunity to not only get her old job back, but with a promotion. Yet Homelander quickly reminds her that she is there to tell him what's going on and that he is really in charge. Ashley tries to help fill the empty spot in the Seven with Blindspot, but soon realizes that she has very little power as Homelander and Stan Edgar seem to make all of the important decisions. Ashley starts having an affair with Adam Burke, the director of the latest Vault Studios blockbuster Dawn of the Seven. She also gets a new assistant, also named Ashley, who she seems to enjoy bossing around. After Stan Edgar is asked to step down, Ashley is promoted to CEO of Vought. At Homelander's suggestion to the board, Ashley presents herself as an ally to Homelander, eager to please him at any moment. Starlight asks Ashley to please help her stand up to him, but Ashley tells Starlight she has no superpowers and can't help. Ashley and The Deep go to the basement where Maeve is being held prisoner. Ashley argues with The Deep, telling him someone is coming with a search warrant to look for Maeve. Gas floods in through the vent in Maeve's cell and Ashley mouths, I'm sorry, as Maeve starts coughing and collapses to the ground. Later on, while watching security footage, Ashley sees M.M. and The Boys helping Maeve up after the fight with Soldier Boy. She thought Maeve was dead but realizes she's alive. She and Annika look at each other and delete the security file, protecting Maeve's secret and hiding her from Homelander. This was Ashley's first silent act of rebellion against him. Although Ashley had been technically demoted by Homelander, she still retained the title of CEO in official Vault press releases. One example was when she appeared in the investment summary video for Vought in January of 2023, which revealed that the board had given her an additional seven-month renewal on her contract. After the suicide of Golden Boy, Ashley is seen doing a press communication stating that Golden Boy's death happened in an isolated space outside the campus and that Godolkin University is still considered the safest place in the entire United States. Later that night, she asks Indira Shetty to take the speaker off so they could talk privately. Then she asks to Indira if what happened to Golden Boy is somehow connected to the woods. A few days later, Ashley sends Tech Knight to the campus with the mission to find someone they could blame Luke's death on for the cover story. However, the plan fails due to Indira blackmailing Tech Knight to leave the campus saying he didn't find anything. Later, Ashley had a meeting at Godolkin with the board members to choose candidates for the Seven, frustrated because she missed a gastronomic orgy and because she can't find Indira, unaware she'd been killed shortly before. During the meeting, Kate Dunlap, alongside Sam Reardon and several other inmates of the woods start creating chaos at the campus. Desperate, Ashley gives the order to call the top 10 students, asking them to kill Kate with the promise of a place in the Seven. Ashley then calls Marie Moreau and promises to give the girl a meeting with her sister if she helps her with the mission of killing Kate. While the chaos getting worse, she and the other board members hide inside of a helicopter and orders to call Homelander, asking him to go to the campus immediately. During Season 4, shortly after Homelander appoints Sister Sage to the Seven, Ashley is surprised when she is demoted to a nominal figurehead position and considers resigning from Vought. Becoming even more uneasy with her standing with Vought after Homelander kills Annika, she decides to shred her resignation letter and goes to snoop around Homelander's apartment for anything she can use where she encounters A-Train stealing a sample of Compound V Serum. When both realize that Homelander would kill them for going in without his permission or knowledge, both decide to form an uneasy partnership and pretend the other was never there. Ashley watches a report on Coleman's death 
and tries to convince A-Train to run away with her due to being fearful of Homelander finding out about their alliance. Later after the disastrous annual V Christmas special, Ashley is surprised when A-Train appears and says he's been compromised. Despite learning her life is potentially in danger and that both the deep and black noir know A-Train was the leak, Ashley reluctantly declines to leave Vought with him. However, she does remind A-Train to cut out his tracking chip to prevent the rest of the seven from finding him. After A-Train leaves, Ashley looks at a picture of herself as a rebellious teen while mulling over her decision. On the Vault News Network, Ashley watches as Homelander and Firecracker reveal to the world that Victoria Neumann is a soup. After, Ashley tells Homelander that the people's responses on social media were mixed and Homelander demands that Ashley makes a list of everyone who has damaging information about himself and the Seven. In the Seven's meeting room, Ashley follows Homelander and he asks if she has seen Ryan. She hasn't, but she suggests that she can send a PA for him. Homelander declines and asks for the list, and Ashley gives it to him. She remarks that she had highlighted everyone whose contract needs to be paid out if they are let go. She leaves the room, but as Homelander discusses the plan to kill everyone on the list, the Deep says that Ashley should also be killed because she had the most information on the Seven. Ashley eavesdrops on the conversation, listening through the walls, and to her horror, Homelander supports the Deep's idea. Ashley runs to Homelander's apartment and is surprised by the absolute destroyed state it is in. Knowing a stash of Compound V is located in a bookshelf due to A-Train stealing a dosage earlier, she takes one along with a syringe and injects it into herself. Almost immediately, Ashley screams in pain and falls to the ground as her wig falls off. She grabs the sides of her head and continues to scream as her scalp begins to ripple and oscillate. As for her power, the sky is the limit, sure, but the show has proven that when they give someone compound V serum, it ties thematically with them as a character. Look at Huey Sr, who felt like he was so ignored he was just passing through life, so he gained the power to fritz out and phase through objects and people. Or Butcher, who had every single dark, horrifying thought he was holding inside burst out of him as disgusting, tumory tentacles ripping Newman in half in the finale. So, chances are, whatever happens with Ashley will tie to her emotional state. I'd venture a guess that since Compound V seems to be affecting her head, we'll get some sort of mind control powers. After all, she's dealing with a total lack of control. Alternately, maybe she just grows a beautiful head of hair, like Marvel's Medusa. As a character known for her trichotillomania, or compulsive hair pulling, providing her character with a prehensile hair-based superpower like the Inhumans Medusa could be the perfect choice. Not only would turning Ashley into a character reminiscent of Medusa would be an ideal way for The Boys Season 5 to keep poking fun at the major superhero franchises, but it could also zero in on one of Marvel's most notable missteps. Furthermore, Ashley's newfound abilities could also be just as easily taken from her simply by having Homelander shave her head, much like Maximus did to Medusa in The Inhumans. I mean, that would be funny if she got a hair-related superpower and then Homelander shaved her head, but to be honest, the boys' showrunners did an incredible job by not revealing Ashley's power because now they have more than a year to figure out an ability that suits Ashley's character properly. So yeah, that's all for this video and thanks for watching.